You know, for as long as I could remember, browsing the internet back in the good old days was always a roll of dice. One misclick away from your regular browsing and you could end up in a strange and peculiar side of the internet. A side of jump scares. Disturbing content. Nightmare fuel. Stumbling upon creepy and unsettling media like this around that time was all too common. As the internet became more accessible and widespread, it brought with it a sense of unlimited possibility and exploration. However, with this freedom came the potential to stumble upon things that are not only unsettling but sometimes downright disturbing. Videos not meant to be seen by the public eye. Images straight out of hell. And pictures of forgotten childhood memories. Some of these relics seem to have existed way before the internet and others were a creation of it. A very distinct section of this disturbing media is specifically images that are unsettling, creepy, and eerie in ways hard to explain. Bizarre and strange pictures that have come to be known as cursed images. The thing is, some of these don't even have to be scary to be categorized as such. In fact, some of the most unsettling cursed images are seemingly innocuous at first glance. They might feature mundane objects or scenes, yet they give off a feeling of unease. One of the most recently popular types of cursed images is liminal space imagery. These feature settings are familiar yet somewhat off-putting. Abandoned rooms, empty hallways, deserted spaces, and places that seem straight out of our dreams. The eerie feeling that liminal space imagery evokes is difficult to explain, but it is something that many people find deeply unsettling. Similarly popular images that came from the internet nearly a decade ago were something called creepypastas. Cursed images that became so well known and popular that they have been turned into something more. Expended upon with lore, evolved into stories, morphed into internet legends. These creepypastas, like their name entails, come from a merge of the creepy nature of the images used and the internet slang, copypasta, stories that would be copied and pasted around the internet from one board to the next. These creepypastas have become synonymous with early internet culture. One thing that I've always thought about though is where did these images come from? As it turns out, I'm not the only one to think of this. And for many of these images, whether they're unsettling, strange, liminal spaces, or creepypastas, people have been scouting all over the internet looking for their origin. The thing is, peer into any one of these images in hopes for more context, and you will find yourself looking down a bottomless rabbit hole that leads to places unknown. The lack of context, the unknowable history, and the absence of direction makes it extremely difficult to pinpoint the origin point of any one of these images. Sometimes it's as simple as a picture of an unknown hallway, a disturbed smiling dog, a man in a Mickey Mouse costume, or a distorted face. Each one of these images has left the internet absolutely bewildered and confused by their origin. As famous and as known as they are, not a single bit of information exists on where these images came from, how they came to be, and when or where were they taken. And if I'm gonna be honest, I'm just as intrigued. One such image that is a great example of this, and which is perhaps most known and recognizable of the bunch, is Jeff the Killer. For a while now, the origins of Jeff the Killer were believed to have come from a 4chan edit of a picture posted by a girl named Katie Robinson. This belief began after a post was made that claims to be authored by Katie's sister who found her crying after posting a picture of herself on 4chan and getting made fun of and photoshopped for being overweight. The post claims that Katie would later end her own life due to the excessive bullying 
by the hands of 4chan. And right below the post, a cheeky comment can be seen made by an Anon, trying to be witty. This screenshot of a post would be known throughout the internet for being both a reminder of the toxic culture of 4chan, but also as the origin picture of Jeff the Killer. It was believed that one of the photoshops that were made of Katie in that thread was the Jeff the Killer image. And on first viewing, one can see why people would believe this. The images seem similar enough. Both people in the picture are leaning their heads at an angle with black hair parted to the sides and wearing a white t-shirt. Except for the fact that this post is actually a complete hoax and a troll within itself. Because Katie Robinson, as we know her, doesn't exist. Her real name is Heather White and she is actually from a website by the name of TrueChristian.com. Once this picture of Katie was found and the post was completely debunked, this set the search back to ground zero. With no apparent leads and erection, we had to go back to the basics. First of all, there are only two known and verifiable versions of the Jeff the Killer image, known simply as JTK1 and JTK2. JTK1 is the older version of Jeff. It is a less edited and closer version to the original, while JTK2 is a further edited upon version of JTK1 and the more known version of Jeff. Playing around with Photoshop myself, I was able to remake the final Jeff the Killer face out of the JTK1 image using a little bit of the liquify tool and some redrawing. It's far from a perfect recreation, but it will give you a good idea on how the final product came to be. Looking closer into the JTK2 image, we can see that while the mouth was simply jokerized, the eyes however have a very distinct look to them. Certain people within the searching community found that this specific eye shape has an uncanny resemblance to a Japanese character known simply as CV Wakamoto. With a little research, I was able to find that CV Wakamoto is actually a fan creation within the 1999 2D fighting game, Mugen. CV Wakamoto mainly being a joke or meme character that had a compilation of voice lines from famous Japanese voice actor Noria Wakamoto. Not only that, but it also appears that this particular character actually began as a 2chan meme that went viral in Japan sometime in the early 2000s. Since the Jeff the Killer edit was also created around that time, it might explain a strange look for the eyes. And this is one of the many indications and leads that have been found to link the Jeff the Killer image directly to Japan and more specifically to 2 chan. But since we're looking for the raw, unedited original, studying and looking at the JTK1 image is where we need to put our attention. Looking at this photo, we can tell that the only parts left of the original face is the hair and the mouth. We can also make another observation about the eyes. While the mouth and the rest of the face seems to still be intact, the eyes and facial features have been completely wiped out, replaced with what seems to be doll eyes. And more specifically, an individual within the searching community found that this eye shape might have been edited out of a Mr. Potato Head plushie. When reverse searching the image, we find a few uploads from around 2005. The earliest so far was uploaded on July 24th, 2005 on a website called Fallman under the name Fear of Summer Nights and a description Pre-Orthopedic Lady. Another instance of JTK1 was uploaded on September 10th, 2005 by user Mulholland on a website by the name of PYA.cc. After users tracked down and contacted Mr. Mulholland, he claimed that he believed that while the original image doesn't exist anymore, it actually came from a screenshot of a TV show that aired sometime from 1999 to 2005. This theory of the image coming from some TV show in the early 2000s 
would be seen again from Japanese users commenting underneath the video, claiming that it either came from a dressing room of a TV show or it came from a TV comedy act from the 2000s. Other users commenting claimed to have seen the original image while browsing 2chan around that time. User Seaman comments claiming that the image was of an Asian woman in a dirty room and that there was a Photoshop contest in a 2chan thread where the image was uploaded and turned into JTK1. Other users claimed that the image came from a Japanese cam website. While reverse searching the photo, users found other similar looking images that came from other websites from around the same time. One of them is from Hadouri, a webcam site that contains an image that looks pretty similar to the Jeff image. This is believed to be a thumbnail of a video that isn't archived. Users have been trying to contact the uploader, but with no luck. Sonoko was a popular internet personality from approximately 2000 to 2007. She uploaded hundreds of images, GIFs, and videos of herself across multiple websites. Due to her physical appearance and brief meme status across 2chan threads, it is believed that she could be the possible identity of Jeff. Another possible lead is while sifting through old videos on nikovideo.jp, an old Japanese video streaming site, a surprisingly large amount of videos from the early 2000s were found that looked surprisingly similar in both quality and aesthetic to the original Jeff image. Taking a more image analysis look by purely looking at the image itself, removing everything that had been edited and added upon, we are left with the overall composition of the photo. The angle, lighting, the location, dark background, hanging clothes, a white shirt, an overexposed white skin due to camera flash, dark hair, and an open mouth. Any image that somewhat resembles this one but does not have the before mentioned traits cannot be the original photo. Of course, this complicates things slightly if the image does come from a video source. If this is in fact a screenshot from a video, or from a rumored webcam livestream, that opens up the possibilities quite a lot. Where an image like Hadori's might actually lead us to a video where this frame was screenshotted. This also makes it more difficult to reverse image search if what we're looking for is an archive stream or video rather than an image uploaded. Due to AI text-to-image generators and the recent attention on the search for the image, the production of fakes and mockups is multiplying rapidly, which means that with each day that passes, more and more fakes are created, making it harder to find the original. And for now, these are the main leads and guides that we have found. This particular search has been going on for a couple of years now, with very slow progress. Of course, it's also possible that the original image never existed in the first place. With the only proof being eyewitness accounts, it's totally possible that the original image was taken and edited by the same person before being posted on the internet. As in, it's possible that the real original picture is not on some form, but rather in a hard drive, making it impossible to find. But this is most likely not the case. Too many eyewitness accounts who claim to have seen the original, non-edited version for this theory to be valid. Of course, it is also possible that the image, due to bad archiving or the lack of it whatsoever, has been completely wiped off the internet. All of these are just theories for now. If you really want to give it a try, I guide you to the original JTK image subreddit and their discord server. Just make sure to check the debunk section and read through their text before doing so. And to help you with that, here are the already debunked images that people have been finding all over the internet. I've uncovered many mysteries, obscure topics, and strange communities on this channel. But none of this would be possible if it weren't for my initial introduction into the dark side of the internet with old school internet horror through the old days of internet exploration.
The misarchiving of the old internet is creating a myriad of lost media of all kinds. And if these pieces are not found and archived properly, they're gonna be lost. Forever. And that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed your stay. And I will see you all very soon.